Hello, welcome to a new scene anatomy video. Today I want to talk about a problem which many of you have, the CPU consumption of plugins in your door. Many of the great plugins available today consumes a lot of TPU like UHE Diva, as Chromaphone, Spectrosonic Omnisphere and more. And the problem is that many of your computers maybe can handle this and you are unable to use them in multiple instances. To make this possible, there are some cool ways to make this. ImageLine, for example, has on PC uh, the direct sampler, which allows to sample VSD plugins. And here on the Apple, you have the main stage. And in main stage, you have the auto sampler, which allows you to sample hardware synths and software synths. And what is cool here, um, it, this, gives, uh, this technology is very easy made, and it's coming from Redmatica, and it allows you to sample instruments in some minutes or even seconds. And in an early video, I covered already the way how you can uh, sample hardware synths. So in this video, I want to cover the way how you can sample now plugins. So I open here, for example, Diva. It's a virtual analog synth, which sounds fantastic, but it consumes quite a lot of CPU for our, the actual computers. And it sounds like this sound. So for sampling this sound, I close here Diva and I activate, for example, here a channel EQ. I can activate here a compressor. I can also activate here, for example, my Valhalla Vintage Verb, but I don't make it actually. And what is important here, you must put the auto sampler on the end of the chain. So if you want to add now a delay or reverb on it, you must put it on the end of it, so it samples Diva and the delay and the reverb on it. So I open our auto sampler. And you can see you have here a keyboard range from C2 to C70. Uh, to C7. And you can change it here with the range from C1 to C2 I have now. But you can change it also here. And I took here, for example, uh, C1. And then to, let's take here C, C5. Then I sample every six semitones, no uh, round robin. Sustain, I take here six seconds, for example, but you can take it more or less. Then you can change the velocity layers. I take here one, and this one has 127, but you can add a second one, which has 64. Or a third one, a fourth one with 32, 61, 95, and 127. But I take here one because otherwise it takes too long for this video. And then you can change the velocity response. I take here linear. Then you can activate auto loop and the start and end points of the auto loop, and also one shot. And so simple is it. So you, what I made now, I sample it. So I press sample. And I take here a name, let's take it Big Diva, and then start. So individual sounds will be now sampled. And this takes now about 56 uh, six seconds. So our instrument is made and all the samples are now uh, 
store it in WAV files. And it's also available as XS24 file. So you can import it, for example, in Compact5 and any other sampler. Also, you can import it in iOS, like in, um, in the layer sampler inside ARIA Pro, and then use it. And let's close it here. Then I will deactivate here the compressor and the channel EQ and the auto sampler. And I take here my EXS24 sampler. I take a stereo. Let's open it here. And then I take here auto sampled and big diva. So then it sounds like this. So it sounds great. And you have your sound in, in a sampling form and it takes far less CPU, con uh, CPU. and okay, uh, this version has now less velocity on, on it. So the sound is less versatile, but you have your uh, bass sound, which you need for your music production. And if you want to layer more, you can even sample it deeper with more velocity layers. And um, let's take another for example, another plugin here. I take here my all time favorite RS Chroma Phone, for example. Then I take here, for example, plug a string. So I want this sound now in sampling form. So I close it now again. And I took here again the key on it, the compressor, and maybe also the Valhalla. Let's try this. And then activate the auto sampler. We go to auto sampler. I take here maybe one second more or two, so eight seconds. One velocity due of the time of the video. Same range. And then let's sample it. I take here beautiful sound, for example. So the sampler uh, samples now the individual notes here of the chroma phone.
So let's our instrument is made. So let's change it here to auto sampler uh, to the sampler again. And I take here down the Valhalla the auto sampler, and I go here to auto sampled beautiful sound, and let's check it out. <laughs> As you hear, you have the sound now in sampling form and you can export it, you can use it in WAV files, you can import it in auto synthesizer, use granular synthesis on it and much more. And you are a logic user, for example, you can now import this EXS file in uh, Alchemy and then process this further. So this auto sampler is in a, can be used in a very creative way. You can add uh, effects plugins on your sound and then create very unique sounds. And it's also possible to um, sample drum sounds. So if you want to sample a drum synthesizer, your drum synthesis sounds, and then export them as um, samples. So you can create own libraries, what is very practical here. And it's for me a very versatile uh, utility tool here. And for me, a great purchase here for 30 dollar or 30 euro you get here this auto sampler inside main stage and it's for me a no-brainer because you can create endless of sample libraries or samples for your beat production or other creative stuff so for me it's a great sound design tool which allows to create many new sounds using an audio unit plugin and then some other effects on it so um, please let me know in the comments below if you use this already or if you're interested to use it or how do you want to use it. It would be cool to discuss with you. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. And as usual, don't forget to join the Patreon page for exclusive sound content and regular giveaways exclusive for Patreon users. Big thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon in one of my next videos. Bye!